and make our very delicious stuffed shit. God, Brian! Sorry. Ah. Sorry. I, might, I was in my head. Oh. Yes. That's me! Can you see? <laughs> Bam. And then look over here. Nerve. I don't know what that means. I was just, yeah. Hi, guys. I'm Anna. And I'm Brian. And we are Those, those Annoying, annoying vegans. vegans. And today we are making one of my specialty recipes. This is the recipe that I used back in the day to woo a certain fiance, but that was when I was vegetarian. Today, we want to woo you and show you how to make our delicious stuffed, stuffed shells. shells. Now, you guys may know that stuffed shell recipes normally call for shells that are stuffed with uh, cheese, basically. Lots. Just a lot of cheese. Lots of cheese. Different types of cheese. And cheese is, of course, a euphemism for the breast milk of a pregnant bovine mammal, and it contains pus, blood, and fecal matter. So it's number one, gross. Uh, number two, horrible for your health. And number three, it requires not one, but two deaths to obtain. So of course, we are going to veganize, veganize it. it. And guys, this recipe is an open window for you to step through and explore on your own on the other side, if that makes sense. <laughs> what I mean by that is, feel free to make it your own. Uh, you can make your own cheese at home if you have a favorite recipe. You can use one cheese instead of three cheeses. Spice it up however you'd like. And as always, this recipe is delicious, affordable, and easy to make. So let's make it. Let's make it. Look at all that. Actually, it made more than this. Yeah, it makes about two dozen mm -hmm. stuffed shells. The amount of cheese that we made makes about two dozen. You can top it with a little extra go veggie. That's right. Doot, doot. This stuff's really good, and they have it at Ralph's now. Yeah. So the Ralph's, uh, if you're on the East Coast, uh, Kroger, the vegan vegetarian section is uh, getting pretty beefed up there. Yeah. With all the dairy-free cheeses and... Beefed up. Oh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no. I didn't even catch it. Nope, see? I didn't even catch That's it. That's how ingrained it is. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Can I just pause and say this was delicious? Is this like our renewing our woo? Like renewing our vows, but renewing our woo. So cheese. We've yes. talked about cheese before in a few of our previous videos, so mm -hmm. make sure to check out those. Yep. Um, today we're going to talk some more about cheese. Yes, we covered the fact that uh, cheese is physically addictive. That's why most people say they could go vegan except for the cheese. It's because you're physically addicted to it, like a drug. The casein in cheese, which is the protein in milk, mm -hmm. that releases casomorphins in your body when you eat cheese. And it's not as strong as morphine, but it's it's just enough to make you kind of go, oh, that was, that was really good. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. I should have some more of that. And there's a reason for that. Uh, it's because when baby cows drink the milk, it does the same thing to the baby cow. It keeps them coming back to the udder for more milk. Right. Because when you're a baby... You need to drink milk. Adult human beings don't need to drink uh, any milk, cow or otherwise. It's so random. Like, sit down and think about it. With what we know today about dairy and cheese, why are we so resistant? Remember when we were kids and we were like, Frustrated because we wanted our parents to get with the time so badly. Guess who's now your parents? <laughs> you. We are resistant to change. The beautiful thing about science is that it is progressive. Mm -hmm. Things change. We learn new things every day. So what do we know about cheese? Uh, well, first we should start with what cheese is. 
Uh, we know it comes from milk, but do you know how they actually make cheese? They take milk and then they put it in a big vat and then they add bacteria to it. Mm -hmm. And the bacteria starts to ferment the milk. And then they add rennet. And originally it came from the fourth stomach of a baby calf, which is totally doable because when a male baby calf is born in the dairy industry, uh, he is what is called useless mm -hmm. because he won't produce any milk in his lifetime. So, so he will go into the veal industry. However, nowadays, uh, most of the rennet that they use, according to Dr. Neil Bernard, is a genetically modified rennet. But some places still pride themselves on using cow rennet from a, a baby male cow. It's such we, a weird thing we to have, be proud of. We have of. pride in our dairy products. Mm -hmm. We kill those baby cows. After it gets all clotted and solidified and whatnot, they drain out all the liquid part, all the whey, and then you're left with these big clumps of milk fat. And then they cover those big clumps with salt, a lot of salt. You've severely upped the fat content of what used to be milk. And you've... concentrated the protein content. <laughs> yes. You've severely upped the salt and you've severely upped the total calories. And just to give you an idea of the calorie content of cheese, one ounce of cheese is 100 calories, about one whole potato is 100 calories. I wonder which is going to fill your stomach. Uh, faster potatoes or cheese and potatoes don't have <laughs> cholesterol and they have a lot of fiber and they're super healthy why would anyone try to satisfy their hunger with an ounce of cheese you've got this brick of fat from a pregnant cow's milk and we're eating that and the percentage of fat calorically in cheese super high cheddar cheese is 70 percent of the calories are fat. You're basically just eating fat. fat. And guess what fat does to your body? It makes you fat. If you're trying to stay slim, uh, eating cheese, I would say, is a, a horrible idea. In fact, when I was a meat eater and a vegetarian, I had a really hard time losing weight. We, like, most of my 20s, I spent trying to lose weight once I stopped eating cheese and dairy <laughs> and eggs and meat. <laughs> I lost all the weight and I've kept it off without yeah. trying. And we don't, we don't count calories, by the way. Now, I know some of you watching, especially if you still eat cheese and meat and eggs and seafood and all that other stuff, uh, you might be screaming at your computer right now that, no, 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 it's sugar. Sugar makes us fat. Good fat. Evil sugar. Sure, refined sugar, added sugars, sweetened beverages, cookies, candy, all that stuff. It's not health food. It's bad for you. It's not good for you. Don't eat it, don't drink the soda. However, it's not the same as eating the fat. As of 1999, it started falling because people started buying bottled water instead of sodas to a large degree. And if you look at cheese, where's that going? Up and up and up and up. So where, which direction is obesity going? It's following the cheese. We look at the American diet and it's loaded with sugar and fat. And it is the fat part of the diet that fattens people up. If you're overweight, you're storing too much fat. If you just look at the way your body stores macronutrients, number one, protein, uh, you don't store protein. Carbs, we do store in the form of glycogen, and that's gonna be our fuel that we use later. We burn the carbs now and restore them as glycogen to be burned later. Fat gets stored as fat. fat. It's really simple. The fat I eat is the fat I wear. See, the body does the most efficient thing possible with everything you give it. The body does the most efficient thing possible with fat. It just moves it. It moves it from the fork and spoon to your abdominal fat stores. From my lips to my hips, the fat I eat is the fat I wear. Why would it do anything else? The body wants to be well. The body does not want to be obese. The body does not want to be disease ridden. The body does not want to be diabetic. The it's natural, not a natural state, state. Yeah. is to be healthy. Mm -hmm. So I could walk around with a black eye and go, hey man, I've, I'm genetically predisposed to having this black eye. And then you would ask me, well, what do you do? It's like, well, first thing I do, I wake up in the morning, I punch myself in the eye. <laughs> and then around noon, one o'clock, I punch myself in the eye. And then <laughs> around dinner time, I punch myself in the eye again. But I have a genetic predisposition to having a black eye. It's the same thing with weight gain. Like people say, I'm pr genetically predisposed to be overweight because of family history. But the funny thing about family history, it also includes- Behavior. Uh, <laughs> Behavior and diet. Well, they're one and the same. Unless you have like a thyroid issue and then hopefully you're treating that. Yeah. You know, we're, we're talking we're about the- We're gonna throw all the little specialties. Yeah, over there. Over there. <laughs> and this is <laughs> the things that we can control with our diet. Vegans can be guilty of eating a lot of fat too, by the way. Yeah. Just because you're a vegan, it doesn't mean that 
you automatically eat a low fat diet. Now, if you lean towards a whole food plant-based diet, plants in general are just naturally low in fat. If you stick to fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts and seeds, mm -hmm. you're going to be on average pretty thin because vegans on average are the only group of people that are within a healthy BMI range. But as you can see, you can eat plenty of processed vegan food that's really high in fat from oils. Saturated fat is saturated fat. And so while it's true, you can be overweight on any diet because if you consume excess fat, you're gonna start carrying around excess fat. We eat a lot of cheese in yeah, this country. That's a lot. It is a lot of calories. It's a lot of salt, especially too, because salt retains water. So again, high sodium diets also contribute to excess water weight. So it's just, it's just a horrible idea. Yeah. to eat cheese. By the way, another thing we know about cheese is that uh, it's allowed to have pus yeah, and go to really, the store and be sold. That's not news. <laughs> we know that. That's a fact and people are okay with that. Well, yeah, a little bit of pus. <laughs> a, a, little a little bit of pus is fine. Would you lick your pimple? I mean, <laughs> we make smelly cheeses be gourmet. Oh yeah. If the cheese smells bad, <laughs> that's because there's something wrong with it. No, you have to have but an advanced gourmet. palate to yeah. understand it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it smells like sh Hence the saying, who cut the cheese? <laughs> and also people sometimes will complain about the cost of vegan cheese. I've seen plenty of cheese eaters spend a lot of money on like artisanal gourmet cheese. Yeah, the, mon the so Manchego I used to buy was like seven, eight bucks. There's always a range. I mean, Daya is a slightly cheaper than Miyoko's. And like we said, you can make your own cashew mozzarella at home. You can make your In own fact, soy ricotta at home. Miyoko's oil-free melty mozzarella. Oil-free. Page 72. And we mentioned at the beginning that, you know, two lives are taken in the production of cheese. And that goes for milk or butter or yogurt or ice cream or any other dairy product. Because mm -hmm. uh, in order for a cow to produce milk, she has to be pregnant. pregnant. And then nine months later, that rings a bell, she gives birth to a baby. And then what does the baby want to do? The baby wants to drink the milk, uh, but that would cut into our, our margin. I will take your baby away from you and steal your milk for about four or five years until you can no longer produce milk, and then we'll just kill you for meat. That's what goes on in the dairy industry. So if you eat cheese, if you eat butter, if you eat ice cream and yogurt, if you drink cow's milk, you are paying somebody else to take a baby cow away from a mama cow, and if that cow is male, he will be put to death. And if she's female, she will go back into a life of slave labor like her mother. They even sell colostrum. I've, I saw at colostrum being sold at the Hollywood Farmer's Market and colostrum is what the baby needs immediately after being born because that's how they build up their immunity through their mother's colostrum. I mean, if you had a baby, if you're a mom, wouldn't you want to feed the baby your milk? And if you're a dad, wouldn't you want the baby's mother to feed the baby her milk. <laughs> like, right. If we had a kid, I would want you to feed our baby because yes. that's how moms and babies work. And that's how Mothers Against Dairy got started. Because how bonding is it to breastfeed your child? I have heard. So just overall think about what you're putting into your body mm -hmm. and does it make sense for you to be doing so? Yeah. Like we get it, human beings for a long time have been eating cheese, mm -hmm. but does that mean we should keep eating cheese? So many things are changing. Let's make sure to keep up with those changes in a positive, healthy way. And now for some vegan news. Vegan news. <laughs> First up in the vegan news segment, speaking of dairy, uh, dairy sales are down. Alternative plant milks are up. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. Even uh, the organic cow's milk, which was on the rise, has now declined over the course of 2017. Overall, uh, milk companies have a lot of extra milk laying around. So now their plan uh, is to take all this leftover milk and make like butter and yogurt and other milk derived stuff. That's what like they've resorted milk powder. to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even the CEO of Organic Valley, which is a big organic milk producer, the market has slowed way down. There are signals I may have missed in hindsight. Uh, those signals being people not <laughs> buying milk. Or how unhealthy it is. The companies are gonna make what people demand. They're just gonna find yeah. whatever it is you wanna buy and sell you that thing. Yeah. So good, keep buying soy milk, keep buying almond milk. Next on the news, and this isn't really that recent, it's sort of been building up over the past few months. 
the discussion about a meat tax. Mm -hmm. So we're starting to see more discussion. People are starting to realize like, you know, we're taxing tobacco and alcohol and soda in some localities because they're not healthy. We want to discourage people from consuming those things. And a lot of this is related to America's skyrocketing annual health care costs. The average U.S. citizen consumes more than 200 pounds of meat each year. That's twice the global average. And that's twice as much as they consumed in 1961. People are positing the idea that it is unfair for vegetarians and vegans to pick up the tab when it comes to higher health care premiums when we aren't the ones getting sick. Mm -hmm. I happen to agree with that. Yeah, <laughs> I'd take it a step further and have a dairy tax because vegans aren't suffering the same disease and problems that vegetarians are yep. suffering either. This is just how it is when you start eating more plants, your health improves. So let's improve. Why wouldn't we want that? Thank you so much for donating to Reptacular. We've seen uh, some of you have donated. We actually saw them on the news again last night on Channel 4. Unfortunately, FEMA didn't help them out as much as they thought or one would think they would. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the first time they got rejected mm -hmm. and the second time they got $450. And for those of you who are like, oh, I wish I could donate labor, I wish I could, do don't wish, donate. Mm -hmm. They can use cash. I mean, as you saw in the video, they're in debt. So help them out. No amount is too small. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, Subscribe, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified when we come out with a new video. Check out our Facebook, Instagram, Etsy store. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up down below. That really helps us out. If you do not like the video, uh, the thumbs down is there <laughs> for your clickability. Yes. <laughs> Sweetie says. Sweetie says no. And thank you so much to our Patreon patrons for continuing to support our channel. Bye. Bye. <laughs>